Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Shaquita Beauty by Quee here on Quee TV and on today's video I'll be doing a nice simple everyday work appropriate makeup tutorial. You know not too shabby you know something just nice and easy on the eye like soft glam related. So if you're interested in anything of that nature, then you definitely want to stay tuned. I'll just be talking to you guys while I'm doing my makeup just so that you guys can kind of like get to know me. I only got an hour, maybe like looking at the time, really less than an hour before I go and get my daughter. I am 28 years old. I am a Virgo. And I be hearing people, you know, be talking about us Virgos on social media. Oh, they boring. Oh, they eat this. And just for reference, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I incorporated, where is it? Some sunscreen. The Babu Botanicals Baby Face Mineral sunscreen SPF 50. I've been incorporating SPF into my moisturizing and priming regimen. And also what I use on top of that, uh, I've been priming a lot here lately. Next I'm using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer and I've been, oh, I've really been liking this. I like the way it smells. I like the way it looks, has my makeup looking, I love the way it makes my skin feel and it smells so good y'all. And I'm just spraying a little Ole Mist, the Ultimate Hydration Essence and this is the cooling one in cucumber, cucumber water and white mint. And this smells like perfume to me. And the spritzer on this is just awesome, period. Let me get my makeup out because I keep bending down because literally my makeup drawer is under the table. So I'm going to pull everything out. That way this video can be even flowing or easy flowing. You get the point. Okay, so I think I'm officially all ready. So I'm going to try to remember to tell you guys as I'm applying it and talking. So first I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and then this is in the shade deep cinnamon and I'm gonna put this under the eye and I'm starting here first so that this can dry down a little bit before I actually start to blend um blend everything out comment below and let me know what are your signs and how do you feel your signs are like, do you feel like your signs are like extra friendly? Do you feel like your zodiac sign is like mean? Do you feel like, you know, they're kind of like in between? Can be some time dick? Because I'm a Virgo and my husband is a Sagittarius. So to be honest with you, I don't even know how that worked out. I'm just going to call it God. Um... And we make it work. And also, yeah, I am married. Uh, next month, March, is going to make 10 years that we've been married. And both really have to be in the ring together. Like, I can't see it working with just one person in the ring. Not saying that it can't happen. I just wouldn't suggest it. If you're the only person in the ring fighting for, you know, your relationship to work. And that's what I appreciate about him. Because my camera cut off and I don't even know. I was just talking, y'all. Lord, how much did. But anyway, where I think I stopped from was, um, you know, both parties have to be in the ring with each other and it has not been easy i'm not going to act like oh you know it was just a fairy tale and happy ever after the end no 
after 10 years, really after what, about, let me count. Um, uh, one of the, it's easy. Wow, it's getting ready to be 15 years. I've been knowing this man total. But <laughs> don't judge me that I had to count how many years I've been knowing him. Do, don't do it to yourself. Because you won't win. You will not win with me. <laughs> we are learning how to grow with each other in life. And I know there's like plenty of other obstacles. I don't know what the future is going to hold for the two of us. All I know is that I have the mindset and so does he more or less have the mindset of we're going to enjoy each other for however long we're meant to enjoy each other, period. Uh, we've had, you know, watched movies and say, you know, okay, well, if we were to get a divorce, would you be comfortable with co-parenting? Would you want the child to stay with you? Would you be more comfortable with the child stay and I know people like, oh my God, like y'all have conversations about divorce. I feel like it should be discussed because what's going to happen is if you guys divorce for the wrong reason and not speaking on nobody, I'm just saying in our situation because we have children, I feel like if we don't talk about it, I know how he gets when he's angry and then I get know how I get when I'm angry. Both of us sometimes tend to shut down. So therefore, I feel like we'll be so angry with each other to the point where we really would not even think rationally about what's best for the kids, what's best for us, and what's best for us financially. You know, who can financially hold things down and who can emotionally still hold things down as a single parent. So I feel like it's good that we, and I've met couples who disagree, they feel like, you know, that's more or less us speaking death upon our marriage. I couldn't disagree more with that statement. I really couldn't because I feel like because we know where each other stands with that, we it would be better if that situation were to, in fact, come up. Not saying that we are contemplating divorce. Conversations come up and it just be us just thinking you know what i'm saying we could be reading something something on social media among celebrities and we'll be like okay well what would happen if we was in that boat like how would you feel like would you do this or would you feel that way or how would you respond to this or, i feel like it it definitely should be discussed and i do feel like it's mature of us to even consider talking about it Cause a lot of couples like to believe like, oh, you know, happy ever after. And that's true. You want to believe that there is happy ever after. You really want to believe that. But, you know, you don't want to be surprised. And then a lot of people don't operate well when they're surprised by something. So I'm just thankful that we both are mature enough to talk about it and not be offended or upset. Because there's a lot of his views that. I necessarily don't agree with, but I do, however, understand. That's the difference. To disagree with somebody, but understand their point of view on that thing. And that's what I love about our relationship, too, because we can disagree with each other peaceably. Now, there is some disagreements that get heated now. And it's not necessarily us arguing, but I could feel strongly or passionately about something and then him as well if it's any couples out there watching let me know some of y'all beliefs like have you ever had that type of conversation with somebody that you've been with or if you don't have kids and that person doesn't have kids when do you feel like it's the right time to mention about kids your thought process you know what i'm saying money maybe y'all um discuss like credit score when do y'all discuss that like you know listen boom my credit ain't good is that when do you feel like that should be something that should be mentioned you know so people may feel like they want to tell the person off the bat because you may feel like listen i don't want us to continue and i my emotions get involved in this thing and <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm telling you these things like maybe a year later, six months later, five years later, 
of us being in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, courting, or whatever, and you decide, wait, hold on, like, I don't agree, you know what I'm saying, with your statement or whatever. So, okay, so it's doing it again, so I better hurry up and wrap up this video because this camera is, like, really trying me. It's been doing good. Like, when I do voiceovers, I barely get, like, any complications with filming and stuff, everything look good and things work out real good and then all of a sudden it want to become a hater and just stop working. Like, <laughs> you trying me. That's what you're doing. You're trying me. But anyway, I'm sorry. I ain't even been naming the products that I've been using, but I will, you know, put them on the screen or whatever for you guys to be able to follow along with me and what products I'm using but um yeah I would love to hear y'all thoughts like when do you think is a good time to introduce those type of conversations when you you know what I'm saying dating a person like you know of course you would wait till y'all get it. oh well, I would assume or I would at least I ain't even gonna say that Cause this is a no judgment zone, but I would wait um, until both of us have agreed that we get a little serious. Not like when we just dating around to see if we want to go to like the next stages of our marriage. I don't think not marriage, but relationship or whatever. Like if we decide we want to be monogamous and be exclusive with each other. Uh, I would probably introduce it then, like, as soon as we get to that crossroad where we're trying to figure out whether or not we're going to be exclusive, I think that would be a very mature way of saying, like, you know, this is how I feel. But, you know, comment below and let me know if you feel the exact same way because, you know, everybody is different, and I respect that. Like, me and my husband, like, we love hanging around with people that probably – have different mindsets than us because we want to see how other people view certain things, you know, to kind of like open our mind the way we process things in life, you know. Um, and I think that's what I love hanging, why I ha love hanging around people the most is just learning new perspectives on how you view certain things. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm just expecting so much great and awesome in the both of our lives and stuff like that. And I know things are still going to be difficult, like I said, along the way. I'm not expecting it to be easy, but I am appreciative for him just sticking, sticking with me. Right now, we're trying to get a home, and that's been a whole monopoly challenge all in itself. I've feel like it's like so far away <laughs> like it's not obtainable I mean I know it's obtainable because it's a lot of people who own a home but I'm just saying like they just make it so hard I would love for this to kind of be like a you know a little thing you know all us chatting in the comments and you know our opinions or Thoughts on stuff. I love stuff like that, you know. I believe that's what it's all about. Everybody teaching somebody. You know, because I don't know it all. And I know, you know, the next person don't know it all. And it's just refreshing to be around people that know that they don't know everything. And willing to learn from someone else. I love, love, love. To be around people like that. Because I feel like people like that make me a better person. But when you're just a person where you just think you ever be around a person and they just think everything they do is right. And I'm just like, are you God? Like, mm, are you Jesus reincarnated? Let me know. So I can worship at your feet. <laughs> But no, like, and all, like, seriously, like, it irks me to be around people like that. Um, where you take joy into making people feel little for not knowing. 
mean certain things. Like, my goal with people, when people are around me, is for them to always, always, always feel comfortable being they self around me. And if you were honest with me and you ever hung around me, I'm like, wait, you know, I felt like you were judgmental. You was it. Tell me and be direct. Don't just say, you know, I feel like people. No, you feel like I was judged. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's never, never my intentions with anyone. That's why I enjoy talking to people because I like to understand where other people are coming from. I like to know where you're coming from. Why you feel that way? Where did it come from? You know? You you might make a believer out of me, you know. You may have me start thinking about it because I'm thinking to myself, you know, I never thought about it like that. Let me change the way that I think. But, you know, don't have me feeling all dumb and going on. No, nah, I ain't going to do that. So... Just let me know in the comments. I would love to just open. And that's, and that's what I want my channel and my social platform to be based off of. Like people coming together, not being ashamed of who they are and what they believe in. And also being open and mature enough to say, okay, some of the stuff that I believe in, some of the mindsets that I've had, some of the things that I've done wasn't the best. Not because nobody is judging you, but because you are among people who literally we are together to feed off each other, to be positive, to make each other better. So I want my atmosphere to literally make you want to level up and vice versa. I want your atmosphere to make me want to be a better person. And I find that it is so hard to find friends that make you want to be better. I don't want friends that know that I'm wrong, but say, you know, no, nah, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. No, I don't want friends that tell me that I'm wrong. And guess what? Even if I get mad, this has always been my little motto. Even if I get mad at you, girl, give me my five minutes. To go off by myself and think about it and knock some sense. Because me, I'm a type of person where I thrive better off of being alone sometimes. If you done pissed me off and I walk off, it's probably for the best. Because sometimes I can literally come back and apologize. But listen, I was wrong. You know, I feel like you was treating me like this. And I realized that you weren't treating me like that. I apologize or whatever. But if you don't never give me that space, if you don't never give me the opportunity to sit back and really think, then how do you expect me to know when I was wrong? So I don't know how I got on that, but it was just, you know, on my mind. But I just feel like I got to get my mirror. But I just feel like those are the type of people that I want to be around. People where we make each other better and stuff like that. You know, we pray with each other. We're um, emotionally and mentally able to carry each other. And I find those type of friends is so hard to come across. It's so hard. And, I'm, and I, I'm not saying that I am the perfect friend. But I just like to hang around people that challenges me to grow the hell up. And I do realize I myself, you know, isn't the best, you know, the, the most bestest friend on earth, you know. Because I have my moments, I can't describe it, I don't know what it is, but I just have my moments where I just pull away. It's, it don't have anything to do with anybody. I just, I just have my moments. And I feel like I thrive on those moments where I pull away because then I feel like I can go back. It may be 
not even the other person. Like, let's say if you're my friend and you're going through something and, you know, it may be a bit much, you know, be honest, but I feel like me going off by myself then gives me that space to be able to power back up to then go back and power empower you. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if it don't. So I can expound on that thing. Because I don't want anything that I say to come off any type of way. But what I intended it to. Um, but yeah. And those spaces where I back up. That's literally what I'm doing. Is allowing myself to decompress. To go back. Think. And you know I do believe in God. And maybe those are moments where he's talking to me about a situation, your mom or daddy, sister, brother, cousin, bestie. If you know you got a, a friend like that or a person in your life like that, I'm speaking for them if they don't have the words to say. Get out their space. They will come back around. Trust me. If you know that you've been a rock in their life and you know for a fact that all you have done was wanted what was best for them and you've been by their side the whole entire time and you feel like they you know quote unquote pulling away get them time if you can't understand that be careful because some people like that to them they it proves to them that you're not mature enough to handle when they pull away because i've experienced that as well well, if I pull away, you know, then the attitudes come out, the sarcastic comments come out. I know for a fact I have to do better because I can't really say when I'm having those moments neither. If I pulled away from you, I've showed you a sign. And you probably most definitely showed me a sign back. Um, Or you probably lended a hand in me pulling back, you know? Whether it was your attitude or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know, this is 2020, and I just want to win in this season. That's all. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be fat no more. <laughs> you know, I just want to be free. And what I mean by free is just free to be me. Whatever me is, I want to be free to be her. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I usually don't really open myself up in this type of uh, atmosphere. Um, I usually like to be this intimate when I'm like actually in someone's face. And not necessarily as not on camera, you know. But I'm just trying to step out of my comfort zone because I really do want my YouTube channel to grow and i can't expect for you guys to open up to me if you really don't know me or my views or where i come from am i human or am i you know alien do i have the coronavirus or am i perfectly healthy am i five foot five am i 200 pounds am i 300 pounds if i'm you know 10 pounds which i am <laughs> I can't expect for y'all to like really get with me and support me if you don't really know me, you know? And I just want to use my platform for all types of people of all walks, beliefs, you know, religions, sizes, and colors. And I want to reach everybody because I do feel like everybody, no matter... What the background is linked to each other some type of way. And we just don't know it yet. We just don't know it yet. But we gonna find out. In every team. We almost finished y'all. I've been loving the way I've been doing my makeup, y'all. Like, 
it's so pretty, so effortless. I feel like, you know, it's it's not doing too much. And like I say, this is like real work friendly. You're not necessarily drawing attention to your stuff. You're just more or less just polishing, polishing what you already got. I don't put on no false lashes when I go to work. I have worn individual lashes, um, lash extensions to work a few times. But if I don't have those on, I just do several, several coats of mascara just to thicken up my lashes, my natural lashes. And yeah, that's pretty much how I play that ball game. Now, if you wear lashes at work, I ain't faulting you. Girl, do you? Yeah, I be quick to compliment them too. Like, hey, looking good, girl. So, but yeah, I'm that girl. If you look good, I'm going to tell you you look good. Because I feel like us ladies shouldn't be so in competition with each other. Like, if you see somebody look good, tell them. You want to hear when you look good, don't you? So you tell the next chick when she looking good, you know? Keep each other uplifted because you got all of this stuff going on. And, you know, women still are being looked at as like a piece of meat and, you know, being in sex trades. Like, it's a lot going on with women. And I was just talking to somebody yesterday and I feel like it's... I feel, and this is sad to say, but it's also not sad to say. It was easier for America to accept a black male president than to accept a woman president, period. I don't know. And, you know, I was shocked to even hear how many women didn't want a woman president. You know, let me know if you are one of And I want to know why. Like, I genuinely want to know why. I want to know where you're coming from, your pro thought process. Maybe you think women are too emotionally driven and you feel like that'll get in the way of running the country. I don't know, but I want to know. And if you're willing to share it, then share it. You know, I want to know. Because, you know, and that's why I say, you know, it's important to keep, you know, all women, not just black, you know, yeah, we done been done wrong too, but I feel like at this point, in this time and age, all women need to be uplifted because, man, it's just hard being a woman. And it's it's crazy because we reproduce, not saying like men don't take no part in it. I'm, like, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying women actually go through the birthing process and we literally have birthed the world. Man and woman have come from women. <laughs> you know, do you not get that? You know, so I feel like, you know, it's very important to keep women uplifted. I don't care if they're not a parent. You know, I'm pretty sure you influence some child out their life. You might be an auntie. You influence your nieces and influence your nieces and nephews. You may be a cousin. Your younger female cousin or male cousin may look up to you and you may be all that they have their only escape so you know women women we gotta stay uplifted we really do i say the the three people types of people that don't really face some shown off obstacles in america is the disabled the woman and the 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 black person, rather male or female. So, if there's one thing about obstacle, we know, and all of us can write a book on it. But I hope y'all enjoying this video. You get a chance to see a few of my views and hear me rant and stuff. And that's how I know I'm getting comfortable on camera because... I usually don't do this, like, not on camera, I don't. I need to get out of here. <sighs> I need to get out of here, y'all.
right everyone so this is all for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed it if i said something that kind of like sparked the conversation for you then you know what to do go down in the comment section below let me know your views on it i would love to chat with you down below i ain't doing nothing you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be checking it i get the alerts and everything on my phone so yeah girl hit me up let me know let's talk let's converse with each other and don't forget i will have all of the products that i used in this video listed in the description box below and also if you have any video ideas let me know and i will definitely get that done for you and again thank you for watching this video clicking on this video my name is shaquita beauty with Que here on Que tv and i will see you on the next video bye